guys, Maury with 316 Automotive. Hey, all you Saab guys out there who have these convertible Saabs, you know how the, um, the eyebrow, the part that goes right here, the plastic piece, it always cracks up and it's, it's, it breaks and it just it's very brittle plastic? Guess what? I've got a solution for that. Ah, let me drag this out here into the light. Mine was breaking up. You can see this is a rebuilt one. I've got fiberglass here, fiberglass here, fiberglass over this notorious place where they always they always crack up. And on the other one I got fiberglass over here too because it broke up. And then on the inside I put fiberglass, fiberglass, fiberglass. And um you go, well, what about those tabs that stick out that always break? Yeah, this one right here broke. All of them broke. And so what I did, I get down here. You can see a piece of copper pipe. That's a piece of 3 8 copper pipe. I squashed it down some. I took my, uh, my soldering gun with a blade on it and made it, you know, a heat blade. And I just, and I zipped out the center portion of this standoff here and cleaned it all out and then I put this copper pipe right in the middle of it squash it down a little bit with a vise and then slide it down in there you can see I JB welded the heck out of it and the reason I left the two stand-ups is so I could have alignment so you don't want to otherwise this thing would just be rotating all around this one here it doesn't matter if you I just uh, cut the standoff out and then all you need to do is drill a hole right in the center and drill a hole right in the center here because you're going to use screws to hold these things down. That's after you've done all your fiberglass. My goodness, it's uh, so much fiberglass. They're so brittle. So after I did that, let's get up here and I'll show you. By the way, this one here that part number there is CTS 10093850. It's ABS plastic, it says. And that one's for the driver's side that we just looked at. And so these tabs that always break off right there and right there, well, you leave those, those tab holders in, those sheet metal tab holders that you see right there, you leave them in, you just adjust them inboard outboard and forward aft till you center them up they make good receptacles for some screws you put a screw right in there these are number 12 sheet metal screws countersunk sheet metal screws they go in there pretty nice and so that's what you want to do. You want an inch long one here on the outboard side. You want a two and a half inch one on the uh, inboard side. So that one there is a two and a half and then there's an inch long right there. This is the other side that I did. And uh, you use a bunch of JB Weld when you're fixing the cracks and then when the JB Weld dries you sand it flat and then you put your fiberglass on. You want to scuff up the surface though so Definitely uh, do that inside and out, and then lay your fiberglass, mix up the resin, lay your fiberglass, one ply, maybe two, that's all you need. And same thing that I used for these covers here, if you remember in a previous episode, and that gives it a lot of strength as far as, you know, what can be expected. And so that's how I'm fixing this, um, I call it the eyebrow. I don't know what you really call it. And you can still see the fiberglass on it. Yeah, okay, that's great. Um, and uh, you could change out screws. You could do different headed screws than what I did. I just chose these. I may change them to a different head. Who knows? And I got countersunk washers uh, beneath them. I may do something different. I don't know. But that's how I'm holding it down. And don't forget, right here, oops, right there, or 
right there. If you can see that, that hole, that's a plastic rivet. And then don't forget that big sheet metal thing that goes right along here. And I've got that right over here. This brow kind of thing. It also goes goes down there and holds it down. So with my modifications, you're gonna have you're gonna have all the hold down power and these things won't be flopping around and breaking anymore. So that's what I'm doing. And now I've got to scuff them up some more to take some good paint. I'm going to do some primer and some black paint. I've already done the handle in black because I had to do the same sort of thing. The handle broke, uh, I don't know, right here or right there. And so JB Weld, filler, get it smooth, fiberglass, and then uh, primer and paint, and you're all good. So this is going to come black just like that, and that one's going to come black uh, just like the handle as well. I'm still not there yet. I'm cutting and fitting By the way when you're doing this You see the handle here that's going to be going up and down You're going to have to be fiddling with that a bunch to to get it in It's got to go all the way up and then you can get this end in and then let it down and then you got to work the rest of it in and Now I've got You got that that screw right there that you got to get in. Don't forget a washer behind it. Here's a top tip. Uh, put this one in first. Put the passenger side in first so that the driver's side can slip over it, over this stuff here. One more top tip before I forget. The two covers here, have those off when you put these spring clips in. I put this on, got it all assembled. Spring clips were on the outside. I hadn't put them on yet. These babies had to come off in order to put those spring clips so you can put on the handle back again. All right. Um, the, um, the screws are number 12, and I use countersunk, and this one is about three quarters of an inch to seven eighths of an inch long, and this one is about two and a quarter to two and three eighths right in that range so make sure you get screws that are that length and if you don't get them longer and you can grind them like I did because I didn't know what length I needed okay there it is with the the metal brow and the plastic brow in and the handle in. everything is sucked down I'm finally done with this job Praise the Lord. So, this plastic keeps cracking. It is very brittle. Have yourself a good amount of fiberglass. And that's it for this job. See ya.